In this video, I'll show you how to set up an account with WISE, how to get money in and out of the app, how to exchange currencies and everything else. I'll leave timestamps for all of that down in the description below if you need to skip around. So once you've downloaded the app, it's gonna push you to set up an account with an email address and a password. I've already got mine set up, but I'll show you how this process works. So put your email in, then you have to confirm that, they'll send you an email. Also, you have to confirm which type of account that you want, either personal or business. I'm gonna assume a personal account for this video. You can have a business account as well if you have a business set up, and you can have both personal and business within the same app if you have both. Now from here, it's gonna ask you your official name and also your country of residence. That may be different to your citizenship, and so, uh, if it's going to ask you for where you are a citizen, tell them that, that's your passport. And if you live somewhere else for more than six months a year, usually, so that's your residence, then you can put that as well. And in the future, WISE may have to confirm that via some sort of proof of address, like a utility bill or a bank statement. So the things you'll need to set up an account is either a passport, national ID card, or driver's licenses. So you can tell them exactly what your details are, and then they can open the app for you, and you can start to send and receive money. Once you've gone through that setup process, what you should see in the app is one main currency account. And that will be the fiat currency of your region. So if you're in the UK, you'll see a pound sterling account here. If you're in the US, you'll see a dollar account and so on. Up in the top left, you should see your initials. So you can click that. And down here is settings, which are self-explanatory. If you click help, then that will go through and list all of the transactions in the app. If you need specific help about one transaction, like it didn't arrive or something like that, you can get help on that transaction. If you need help generally, there is a really good chat feature as well, and they're pretty quick at getting back to you, so you can chat about general help that you need. Up here as well, you should see a link where you can create a WISE tag. I've already got mine set up. A WISE tag is WISE's a payment link. So if you have other friends that use WISE, they can send you money via your WISE tag and not have to look up any banking details. So it makes things a lot easier. Up in the top right, you can also open a different account as well. So if you've got a personal account with WISE and then you want a business account as well, you can do that and you can switch between them right here in the app. You can see this box here, which is in light gray, that switches between your personal account and your business account. Now I'll show you how to add different currencies and accounts within WISE. So I'm in the home page. We're gonna to scroll to the right hand side. Notice that I've got accounts already set up with currencies. You can only have one account per currency. So I've already added a US dollar account and that means that I can't add a second one. But we're gonna to go to new and then up at the top, add a currency. And these currencies I've not added yet. So I can press these to add the currency account. Notice that for the major currencies, I actually get banking details. So if you need to make a deposit in one of these currencies, you can give real bank details to whoever is sending that money to you. And it's like having a bank account in those regions. For smaller currencies, you can also add those accounts, but you don't get banking details. As you can see down here, it says currencies without account details. You can add these accounts and you can switch money from one account to another. So you can basically spend these currencies on your card, or if you're paying for something in those regions via card, and you know that they're going to charge you these currencies, you can buy things with the card, with these currencies, but you can't receive money to these like you can up here with the bank details. So these are for internal WISE transactions. Let's say you have dollars and you know you need to buy something in pesos. You can switch and do the currency exchange and then pay for it with your card. However, you can't receive money to these because you don't get bank details. The major currencies up here, you can add them and actually receive money to essentially a bank account with these currencies. WISE also lets you set up a different type of account that they call a JAR. You can think of this as a kind of savings account. So it's a separate account that you can put money in that isn't used for spending or exchange. So when you spend on your card, then it's gonna take money out of one of the accounts, right? But if you have money in a JAR, it's like a savings JAR. And so if you click that, it says, which currency do you want to set this jar up for? Think of this as a savings account where you can actually put money and then it's not gonna be used for spending. And it's like a savings account, but you can set that one up as well. And then that will be separate from the other accounts that you use for spending and exchanging. Once you've added currency accounts into your wires, you can now do exchanges between currencies. And for the major currencies, you can also create banking details as well. So I'll just show you my pound sterling account. So I'll click this. Below the balance here, it says, set up an account. So you can click that, I've already got mine set up. So I'll click mine here, and WISE has set up a UK bank account for me. So I've got my account number and sort code. 
And I've also got an IBAN and SWIFT. If people are sending me pounds from outside of the UK, that would be an international transfer. If I go to a different account, for example, my US dollar account, I can click this and below the balance, it says verify for account details. I've had no reason to add US banking details in the past because I didn't need to receive dollars. And so I didn't need to set up the bank account, but I did need to exchange from pounds to dollars. So you can do that in your Wise app without needing bank details. But if it's supported, you can create bank details now, and then essentially you can receive dollars to that bank account and it's gonna show up in your Wise account. So we're gonna press verify. And it says, this is what you can do, press continue to verify. What WISE will do is literally set up a bank account in the US and it's going to give you uh, local banking details and it's also going to give you an IBAN and SWIFT if people need to send dollars globally. That's pretty much similar for every account. So in Hong Kong as well, you can set up the Hong Kong dollar account. I haven't set up account details because I didn't need to receive money to a bank account there, but you can set that up and it's going to give you lo local banking details that you can use to actually receive uh, a currency deposit locally or internationally. Now I'll show you how to add money into your bank account and actually send money to yourself. So we're gonna click add money at the top. And then from here, this is going to automatically give you the currency of wherever you live and your region. So for me, it's pounds. So I'm just gonna do a 10 pound transfer here as a test. And it says you add pounds and you're gonna pay in pounds because I'm gonna link my pound bank account. If you're in the US or Europe, you'll be dealing with those currencies as well. Down, at the, down in the middle, it says paying with my bank account. Now I've already linked my bank, but on the right hand side, I'm going to change the payment method. And these are the methods that I have. So I can pay with cards if I want. There's a small fee for that. Or I can pay with a bank transfer. That's going to actually give me my banking details. And so I have to manually transfer from my bank and put my details in manually. Up at the top though, there's also a method of automatically linking your bank. If you have your bank app on your phone, Wise can open your bank app, link to it, show you the balances that you have, and then draw money out of the bank account that you want to use. So that's gonna be the easiest way. If you click this, it's gonna go through, it's gonna give you all of the banks in your country, click the one that you have on your phone, it's gonna open that banking app, it's gonna say, do you want to link and give Wise permission, click yes. And then from there, just choose the current account that you wanna draw from, and it's gonna take that money. You can use Face ID and Touch ID and everything else as well. Now in the future, those banks will actually be linked where WISE is just gonna draw money out of that bank at your request. If you want to stop that, go into settings, cancel all, all of the links, and it, it won't happen automatically in the future. But for me, I've linked my bank and I can actually draw money out automatically without even opening my bank app or anything like that. And there's a limit each month um, you know, for that as well that you can choose because you don't want anything bad happening. So you can either take it away in the future or limit the amount in the future. But for most amounts, you can just literally press continue and it's gonna draw the money out without you ever having to go to the other banking app. If you want to change the settings of your linked bank accounts and payment limits, go to the top left, click your initials, go down to the settings page right here, click payment methods, connected bank accounts, add or remove them as you wish here. Then in the future, they won't be automatically linked, but you can add them again. You can also go to limits and your spending limits. This is gonna give limits on the amount that you can uh, send and receive without any checks. You can change this as you want. If you want to exchange currencies, this is really simple. You just have to tell WISE which currency you want to spend and which currency that you want to buy. So you need a balance of one of the currencies initially in order to spend that balance for the other currency. I transferred in some pounds sterling, so I'm gonna press pounds here. You can see I've got 10 pounds and I've got the option to convert it. So we're gonna press convert. It says you want to spend pounds. Which currency do you want to actually transfer it into? So let's buy some dollars. So I've got pounds. My available is 10, so let's do that. And it's gonna tell me that if you uh, buy dollars with pounds, this is the exchange rate. So you're gonna spend 10 pounds and it will buy you $13.16. You can see the fees here as well at the bottom, so I'll just click that. My total fee is three, uh, three pence. So I can press review. It's gonna show me that I'm transferring from, dollar, from pounds into dollars. This is my conversion, press convert. That is instant and it will convert whatever currencies that you want as long as they're supported. And so if you go back to your balances, what you'll see is a new balance of the currency that you've just bought. There is another way to do a currency conversion. If you don't have any currency in your account yet, 
you can draw the money from your bank account and actually do the foreign currency exchange at the same time so that what gets deposited in your WISE is the currency that you actually want. So we're going to press add money and here it says what do you want to add into your WISE account. Let's say that I actually want to get dollars, right? So I want $10 in my account. Now my bank account is a pound bank account, so that's fine. I'm going to add dollars and I'm going to pay in pounds from my bank account. Notice that WISE are going to draw pounds, do the exchange and deposit dollars into my WISE. Up at the top, it's showing me the exchange rate that they're going to use. And down here, it says at the bottom, you pay with pounds and you're going to pay seven pounds 60, but the $10 is what's going to arrive in your account. So what you're going to do here is draw the money out of your bank or your other payment method. You're going to give that to WISE. They're going to FX it straight away and put the foreign currency into your account. We can, of course, send money out of WISE as well. And again, there's a few ways of doing this. So you need a balance of some currency in your account first, and then you can use that value to send out pretty much anywhere else. You can send the same currency, so pounds to pounds, or you can send and do an FX transaction at the same time. So let's say that you have pounds in your account and you want to actually send dollars to somebody else. WISE will let you do that. So you can do FX and send at the same time. So the first thing you need is a currency with a balance. So I've got that 10 pounds here and I'm going to press send. WISE is going to say, how do you want to send this? Up at the top, you can search via WISE tags. So if you know that the other user is a WISE account holder, get their WISE tag and you can send the money to them. Or you can add a recipient. Down in the middle, we're going to press add recipient. And then there's a bunch of different ways to add the payment details. So the first thing is you have to choose which currency that the recipient is going to get. Now, you can use the same currency. So if I'm sending GBP, they can get GBP. That's no problem. But what if I want to send GBP because I've got that in my account, but I actually want them to receive dollars. They're a US dollar bank account holder and I want them to receive dollars. I can do that here. So I can actually say I'm going to send pounds because that's what I've got in my account. They're going to receive dollars to their dollar bank account. So I'm going to press dollar here. And then it says, how do you want to send this transaction? Well, if you're sending to another bank, you have to get the bank details of that person. So press bank details. And then it says, who are you sending to? Right. So if you've got money that you want to send to yourself in a different region, you can press that business or someone else. So you can click that. And then from here, you have to put in their banking details. So that's their name, what type of bank transfer that you're using. Uh, you can choose all of that their routing number or their SWIFT. If you press SWIFT, they won't have a routing number, as you can see. Their IBAN, everything else. And down at the bottom, you can also put in their email. Oh, that's up at the top, sorry. That will actually send them an email once you've sent the transaction to say, hey, you should be getting a deposit from WISE. This person is going to have your name, transaction details, currency, and everything else. So you can put their details in where you're sending that money. You can send same currency or different currency as you want. You just need to make sure that the amount that you're sending, you can pay for it with whichever currency you have in your WISE account right now. You can also add recipients manually. If you go down to the bottom of the app and press recipients, you can see it's the same screen. Down here, you'll see a list of all of the different uh, people that you want to send money to. That will be different accounts with different currencies. So you can press that and say, I want to send this currency to this account. And WISE is going to draw any balances that you have in your account and draw that out and pay for it. And if you need to do an FX, WISE will do the FX at the same time. You can also edit any schedules and recurring payments that you have. So down in the bottom right hand side of the app, click payments, schedule transfers. You can do that as you want. And then recurring payments. If you have card payments to certain subscriptions, you can see them all here. Uh, and then you can either edit them or take them away as you wish. WISE also offer an investment feature in the app. This may not be available in your region, but I'll show you what I've got. Total balance up at the top left. To the right hand side, there's a bar chart icon. So I'm going to click that. And then you can see cash, stocks and interest. Cash, that's like a current account. So it doesn't pay any interest or anything. It just sits there. Stocks and interest we can have a look at. So I'll press learn more. Now interest here, WISE take your money and they're going to invest it in a fund that pays interest. So if we look at the British Pound Fund, we go down here, Fund Details and Security, scroll down to the bottom, it says this fund is the BlackRock Sterling Government Liquidity Fund. So basically, you're going to put your money into a fund which invests in very short dated government assets. It's like a money market fund. So you're going to have capital protection for the most part, and then you're going to get paid some interest on top. You're going to have to read the exact terms and conditions, though, to make sure it's suitable for you. 
Uh, and then for the dollar fund here, we'll go to fund details, scroll down to the bottom, BlackRock US Treasury Fund. So BlackRock, you know, a huge fund provider. So you'll just give the money and that will be invested in government bonds. So you shouldn't be getting any capital loss or too much volatility on that. You'll have to check though, because if it's a money market fund, then your principal should stay about the same. If it's a fund that invests in longer dated bonds, you could see some changes in the principal that you invested. So do some research on what these funds are and if it's suitable for you. Now for stocks, what they let you do is invest in the MSCI World Index. So that's an index of the largest companies in the world, right? You can see them here. And this is actually the iShares World Equity Index Fund. Again, that's from BlackRock. So you can see the fund management fee is 15 basis points and the service fee is 44 basis points. Um, that service fee is a little bit high, to be honest. There are some other apps that may not charge a service or administration fee. Um, and so, you know, invest if you want. But stocks are different, stocks are volatile, so the price can go up and down. You can see that the average annual growth since 2012 was about 11.66% a year, but there is some volatility there. Uh, so that would be for longer term investing. But you can put your money to work in WISE if that's available for you. If you want to set up the WISE card, then down at the bottom, click the card option and you can set it up right here. So you can order a card if you want and either digital or physical. So the digital card is free and you will get card details in the WISE app immediately. And then you can use those card details to buy things online. You put the card details in and it will draw on the money that you have in the app. You can also use this for spending in different countries as well. So let's say that you want to buy something in Europe and you're in the US. Well, you can have US dollars in your account and you can spend in euros and WISE will do the transaction when you spend. It will take the money out of your dollars and it will spend in euros. You can also have a euro account that you've already done an FX into, so you've got some euro balance. And if the card spends in euros, it will draw out of your euro account. So you can have that free digitally, or if you want the physical card, it's gonna cost you five pounds, five dollars, something like that. And then you can choose to get the digital card as well. You can actually have two separate cards, a physical and a digital. So you can have different card details for both. And you can add the card to Apple Pay as well. Very easily down here, it says add to Apple Watch. I've already added mine to Apple Pay. If you click that, it's gonna add it to Apple or Google Pay. Uh, and then you can use it just like any other card. Now, if you spend balances on a certain currency, it's gonna to want to draw that currency first. If you don't have any of the currency in your account, right? so if you're spending in euros and you don't have euros in your account, then it's gonna to default to another currency, which is the primary currency of your account. So it's gonna draw out of that currency, it's gonna do a foreign transaction, and you're gonna you know, do that and then spend in the currency that the card wants to spend on. I'll put any sign up bonuses and offers to the apps that I use down in the description below and some extra helpful videos on WISE will be down there as well. I'm James, it's Money DG, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.